Now, I used a vine this time instead of a, a bubble fader, or instead of stairs, or instead of uh, a ladder. Here's the Bitminer 2000 supercomputers. Humming away, mining Bitcoin. There we go. Yeah, why would he hide the lever? Why? What's up here that's... What? Oh my gosh. There's a jail cell up here. There's somebody in it. Hey everybody, I'm in my, in my house here in Patronville. Just taking a look around. For now we're out on the front sidewalk. Uh, here's my, my roller coaster. The city has doubled the width of the sidewalks not too long ago. And uh, I think it uh, makes everything look better, being double-wide sidewalk. I wish we'd done that uh, from the very beginning. Uh, So we're just kind of out for a stroll. Public Works Yard. That's where the city keeps some of their uh, maintenance equipment. This building was an abandoned project by a patron. They started it, but they never finished it. And uh, I recently went ahead and uh, finished the building. I have not put everything inside of it yet, but as far as the the basic exterior, I've, I've uh, completed that. So this building is, is just one of many skyscrapers of the city. Now what you see inside there, those, those are servers, computers. They're server farms. Many servers all networked together. And the reason that they're there is because this building is Patronville's uh, cryptocurrency exchange. Yeah, these people are mining uh, crypto. These are, uh, you know, Bitcoin miners. And looks like the staff is jumping up and down with joy because they've probably, you know, been able to mine some more Bitcoin. But you can buy Bitcoin and Ethereum, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, uh, Tether, you know, there's so many different cryptocurrencies. Uh, but there's not very many good ones.
So I was pretty pleased uh, at my my design. Uh, the guy that started this building, he didn't have anything in here. Uh, it was just one big empty empty room I added. The different levels and the offices and. Yeah, there's some crypto engineers talking, talking things over. Now, I used a vine this time instead of a, a bubble fader, or instead of stairs, or instead of uh, a ladder. Here's the Bitminer 2000 supercomputers. Humming away, mining Bitcoin. They're actually taking care of the, the Bitcoin ledger, which is the actual process of mining coins. Actually, it's a sort of a complicated topic, so... Oops, we ended up on the same floor. It was an illusion. Okay. And there's uh, more computers. So as the crypto exchange uh, grows, it'll expand to the other floors. So these folks have plenty of opportunity to uh, grow their business. And the computers seem to get nicer as we get higher up. So, like I said, there's plenty of room for expansion. Across the street there's the FBI, CIA, MI6, XYZ, Police Department. It's an uh, unfinished project also. Okay, and here is the office of the fella that started the crypto exchange. Let's go out here onto the veranda. Hey, we're just kind of walking, walking the, the tightrope. Here's a nice evening. And you get kind of queasy looking looking down from this height. So we're pretty pretty high up. And because we're in creative mode, I can kind of levitate. It's magic. And we're just going to fly over 
over the city. And one of the realms the uh, newest players built. Uh, let's find a place to land first. And they built this building that you see back there in the fo uh, up here. So look both ways. And uh, it's a beautiful building. Uh, this park, uh, I built the park uh, just to kind of showcase the building. Uh, plus the city, the city needed a park. So it's a place where the people can come sit and enjoy the day, enjoy the afternoon, maybe eat their lunch. Uh, this building is, I forget, I think it's a, an ec ecology center. And I don't think it's finished yet, so if we go inside, we're, we're not going to, we're not going to tour the building at this point, because I really don't think she's finished with it yet. And I'm just looking for a sign telling me what it is. It is beautiful, though. This building was built on two regular lots. Uh, I actually ap approached uh, her with this uh, proposal to build her building on two lots instead of one because I wanted to see if, you know, building on two lots would create buildings that were more visually interesting. Here it is, Patronville Institute of Ecology. Uh, they've got a, they've got a information desk and a a gift shop. Uh, elevator stops at every floor. Uh, information desk, gift shop. Uh, floor 4 is under construction, basement is under construction. Yeah, yeah, she's not finished with it yet, so. So yeah, that's right, I said she. I mean, the citizens of Patronville are made up of uh, men and women. And you have to be 21 or over to be a member of this of this realm. You can go over to my Patreon page. There's a link on my front page of my YouTube channel. You can see what this is all about. And let's just get a view from the from the top of the ecology center. So Patronville is, it's been growing by leaps and bounds lately. Now, 
this player, Spence. Uh, he he has become a patron, and uh, he hasn't he hasn't built his building yet. I, I suspect he's going to start any time. So, uh, Spence, if you're watching this, buddy, let's 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 break some ground. Let's get it going. Uh, the same thing with this person, uh, Be More Kind. Uh, I like the name, but I, I wish they would go ahead and uh, start building, uh, building their business building. Uh, I'm anxious to see the skyline of the city uh, grow. Here's the movie theater. Limited viewing, uh, Skull Monster. Come see Lady and the Pig Sheep. <laughs> now playing Karate Kid versus Andro's Hand. I can't remember. Have I toured this uh, movie theater in a, in a uh, video yet? I don't know if I featured it or not. I... I need to find out. I need to. I need to tour that building and show all of you the theater. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, Izzy mentioned something about this house that this player has built. Uh, it's uh, who built this. DJ Rock Ages 2012. Uh, DJ, we're kind of worried about your house because if one of those pieces of glass breaks, all of that water is going to flood out and wash away uh, everything around it. So, so yeah, we've got some concerns. Plus, how do you, how do you live in a in a glass house? full of water I don't see any <laughs> don't see any furniture or anything it's I mean it's definitely unique understand what this closet is all about. It got us out of the water. Well, I don't know if... Uh, he must not be finished with this yet. There's there there's got to be more to it than than that. Uh, I'm not sure if he's built a business building yet either. Uh, it's the thing. Uh, we've gotten a few new players, in the, and I guess their time has been limited because they haven't. Uh, they haven't done much building. Uh, this red house is kind of new. Let's take a look at this. Uh, Nacho Vespers house. So Nacho has, he's built his house. I'm not sure if he's built his business yet. Uh, the house, the house looks pretty neat. Uh, Some uh, pretty cool coloring. Uh, this red. And let's uh, let's go inside. Sh 
you been? Please take off your shoes. Well, I, I suppose I can do that, so let's, I'll take my boots off and try to abide by the rules of the house. After all, I'm a, I'm a guest. Looks like Izzy and etc. Has, has signed the guest book. A guest book is a pretty neat idea to uh, to see who's been in your house. You know, this is this is Minecraft, and even though it's your house, and we don't have the right to uh, to harm it, to destroy it, or anything like that, uh, we are able to come in and take a look around. No, that's a, that's an old note, I think. Yeah, an old message. So what did I just do with it? There it is. I thought I lost the guest book for a moment. There's Henry McDougall Handel, the pioneer founder of Patronville. It's a nice desk, uh, nice suits of armor. Not sure what this room is. Uh, this looks like a kitchen. And look at those two mammoth cakes. Wow. There's the double door refrigerator. Uh, there's a purple banner. What's behind there? There's a, what is that? That's a, a lever. What does that lever do? Huh, that's odd. And he's got all his spices. Everything he needs for cooking up here. I say he, I, I, for some reason I'm just assuming that Nacho is a guy. Could be wrong. I still want to know what this lever is for. And why is it behind a banner? I'm really, really curious about that. Very strange. It's funny, every time I 
try to place a torch in there, it ends up on the wall. So let's go ahead and forget about that. Let's go upstairs. I can't seem to open this door. There's a trap door here and I can't open it. You know what? That sound that we heard. Do you suppose this lever operates that door? And if so, why? Yeah, did you hear that? I, th I think that's that trap door. Yeah, it's open now. Something is kind of strange about all this. Why would he... I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Why can't I get through this? There we go. Yeah, why would he hide the lever? Why? What's up here that's... What? Oh my gosh. There's a jail cell up here. There's somebody in it. I don't know if he's dead or what. Why is there someone caged up? Nacho, Nacho, if you're if you're watching this, why do you have somebody in a cage in the top of your house? I need to find out if they're dead or alive. What's in here? It, it looks like lab. Yeah. It's definitely lab equipment. Is he doing experiments on someone? Is he experimenting on people? Sir. Are you okay? Are you okay, sir? Test subject. Oh, he's... He's drugged out of his mind or something. I don't know. Uh, let's get out of here. This is... This is creepy. Something illegal is going on here. I guess we better close the trap door. And I need to replace the banner. I guess once our police department is finished, I need to send them over to check this place out and do a little bit of investigation as to what 
exactly is going on here? Overall, it's a nice house, but I'm having a hard time uh, getting by the fact that there's a, a jail cell with a person in it up there. I mean, is, is Nacho some kind of Dr. Frankenstein? He's got a lot of books, like Frankenstein. I've got a feeling that there's, there's more to this house than what we're seeing. Saved mail. This room is, uh, this basement was uh, very odd. Maybe he's not finished with it yet. This is this is very unconventional. Uh, yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe he's not finished. Or maybe there's some kind of some kind of meaning behind all of this, and and I just don't understand what it is. Well, let's get my get my shoes. And let's put put some boots on. I could put these diamond boots on. Yeah. Let's get the guest book. I think I'll sign it. I wonder if Izzy and etc. discovered Nacho's little secret upstairs. most interesting place you have here. Just so you know, I know that you have something Sinister going ran out of space going on here. I'll just sign it R.
and we'll put the book back. View the book to make sure that my comments registered. And uh, Nacho Vesper. Uh, very strange. Uh, where to now? Uh, there's Mason's house. Trevor's house was on the left. And the house on the right is abandoned. Yep, nice house. And here's the, the red building is the post office. And if you're a member, uh, a citizen of Patronville, you have a post office box. Then the Postmaster General has recently expanded, or I think Izzy in him expanded. Hey, look at that. My sign for my post office box is now in multi colors. How did that happen? Somehow I destroyed my sign by trying to check my mail. And I, I think I put a sign back, but it wasn't in color. How, I, don't, so I don't understand how to make the colored letters. When I make a sign, it seems like all the letters are always black. I don't know how to add color. This is the new edition. Uh, it's being prepared for uh, future citizens. There's a system if mail gets placed into your mailbox, there's a light at my house that turns on to tell me that there's mail waiting for me here. It's uh, definitely redstone circuitry, which is beyond my, my capacity, but not the capacity of the postmaster, uh, son of HD. We call him Sono. This is a new building. Izzy the Tiger used to have a very, very tall skyscraper right here. And one day I looked out and it was gone. And now we have the Patronville Transportation Authority, or the future home of it. I guess it's, I guess it's still under construction. And here's a entrance to the subway. And the subway system here in Patron Villas, uh, it's multiple levels. And it goes to multiple, multiple destinations.
And that's just one way to get around in the city. What's down here? There's another another platform that goes to Labs City, and this other direction goes to the Underground Village, which is a huge shopping center and horse racing track and hockey arena. Uh, this is the unfinished part, I guess. And uh, looking, hey, hey, is that people? Are those workers? Are those the street gang? I, I don't know what that's about. Uh, it's very suspicious looking. That's for sure. I don't know what they're doing. So many bats have some free lighting. What's in here? Uh, that's just some kind of a pass through. Excuse me. Excuse me. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing down here? I, I think they want a piece of me. I think they want some trouble. Uh, we're going to leave. There's four of them and one of me. I keep hearing sounds like, uh, you know, like men working. I probably should not even be in here. I mean, it's, it's, it's not finished yet. And... Level one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, did you hear that noise just then? What what causes that? This is a walkway uh, that goes across the street. It spans these two buildings, one being the City Hall. So now we are in City Hall, and that way is the Transportation Authority. Here's the big map, and I have no idea how this map works, but it seems like whenever someone builds something, it ends up here on the map.
And it turned out pretty good that that uh that walkway to get from one building to another. It reminds me of a, a hospital or something. CIA MI5 MI6 FBI I'm not sure whose build that is uh, I don't know if it's abandoned or a current project by someone that just hasn't had time to finish it. We're going to cruise by the ball field and uh, that's a, a zeppelin, uh, like a blimp down, down there. We're going to go check on a situation over on the water's edge where a... Uh, a citizen was was building their build and they they didn't realize it but they were too close to another builder's uh, build another player's build and there's some rules that once you get outside the county line which we are now uh, you can't build within 250 blocks of someone else's build unless you have their permission. And we had a case where someone was building, and we still don't know who it was, at least I don't. Uh, they were building a big, it looked like a, hey, what is this? This is new. What is this? I'm sorry, you see how easy I, I get sidetracked. Play cards. Play cards. Ten, nine, eight. I think this is some kind of game that's being constructed. It's right here behind the, the mini-games building. And uh, the person that owns the mini-games building, and I'm not sure exactly who it is, it might be Sono, I'm not sure, appears to be constructing a new game. But anyhow, Right here on the water used to be a huge installation, a military perhaps, or prison, maybe. It had an airfield and everything just a couple of days ago, and now it's gone. And, uh, yeah, it's gone. It's completely gone. And that was a lot of work that someone had put into it. But they built it too close to this island that's on my left. Yeah, this. So I, I had to put these signs down here because this person's installation came right up to these signs where I had to remind them of the, of the zoning laws. And... Uh, uh, obviously, they're a class act. They they removed their their build, and it's not an issue now. That's great. And we all get along pretty good down here in uh, Patronville. And uh, I'm not sure where he's going to move his installation to, but I'll go ahead and take these signs down. They're no longer. Needed. But the rules are so that someone can build outside the, the city, outside the county, and kind of, you know, everyone kind of 
you know, gives each other space. And uh, I think this is a vacation house for one of the citizens. Uh, so that worked out great. Whoever owned the the complex that was taken down, I, I appreciate your cooperation. Thank you. Now, back toward the city. Boy, look at that sign. That is a technological wonder to me. It, it has lights in it that they kind of chase around and light up the individual letters one at a time. I don't know how that works. I don't understand the redstone and all that stuff. Uh, it's a little bit deeper than I care to get into, but... Yeah, there's a door. Uh... I think we can go in here. I've, I've never been in here, I don't think so. Let's see if we can decipher what's what exactly is happening inside of this billboard. I'm kind of stuck. How do I... Oh, there we go. Boy, it's dark. Wonder if I can place some uh, temporary light right there. have no idea what I'm looking at it's it's a mystery to me how this is operating so we have some very good minecraft builders in this realm just kind of just goes around in a in a circle or in a rectangle it's went to the other end and now it's coming back toward us now there it goes yep it's coming back and there it goes again that's amazing Simply amazing. There's so many aspects to this game. It's uh, something for everybody. I'm not really into the redstone stuff. But some people are. More power to them. It's a... Uh, Definitely doing something that uh, I don't don't think I can do. It's definitely advertising your business. Here comes the light coming this way. And it goes around. Wonder if we, wonder if we can catch up with it. I don't think 
think I can fly fast enough to catch it. Or maybe I can. Uh, we caught it and we passed it. And there's a nice sailing ship. It's pretty impressive. And there's the pirate city. The, the wharf. It's where cargo is loaded and unloaded from ships. There's the skull pyramid. Yeah, there's always something different to look at here in Patronville. Yeah, this looks familiar. Uh, my short-term memory is not the greatest. Uh, I think I've been in here. Some of you probably uh, can attest can attest to that. Yeah. I do remember now. Okay, we've been here before. Let's let's leave. I don't think we understood what this place was then, just as we don't now. And here's uh, where Izzy the Tiger raises his world-class racehorses. And there's an abandoned labs uh, facility. Something very bad happened there. And we've covered that in previous videos about the terrible accident that happened at that labs uh, research facility. And if you've been watching these videos, you know labs is kind of a, a mysterious uh, entity, corporation. Now, a lot of people don't know what I've got down here. Yeah, down in this well is kind of a... Well, it was a secret. I don't think it is anymore. I can't help but wonder what's below that glass. I'm actually afraid to break it. But the secret I was talking about is right here. It's, uh, if I can get in here. Whoops, too high. Here we go. Yeah, I built a little compound down here below Izzy's uh, village up there. Yeah, eventually he, he found out about it. And, uh, and then we, we built this, uh, this racetrack for horses. That's a horse racing track. Horse racing uh, for many years of my life was something I liked to watch. and uh, I didn't have an opinion on it one way or another. Uh, I don't feel the same way about it that I, I used to feel. Uh, my opinion has... Uh, well, like a lot of things, you know, you get older and your your opinion changes about a lot of things. Now, these are suites uh, where the rich or the lucky can uh, can watch the races from air-conditioned comfort. 
And there's some racehorses just kind of wandering around down here. There's advertising on the walls. Uh, Dr. Pink owns the, the hospital in Patronville. And this looks new. Uh, there's now an entrance on this end of the track. There wasn't before, but there is now. So this was sorely needed. So we're, we're in the underground village, and here's some kiosk type. Uh, there's a farmer and a Fletcher. There's some people here selling their, selling their wares, selling their surfaces. There's a butcher. And these folks, they, they rent these little little spaces. These are mostly villagers from above that come down here to to earn money. There's a weaponsmith. And there's a mason. Cleric. Librarian. You back that way, there's uh, fast food places and stuff like that. And over here seems to, uh, there's stores over on this side. And like in most shopping malls, there's a network of tunnels and corridors behind the stores. And these facilitate. Uh, the delivery of uh, goods to the merchants. In the mall offices and security offices and stuff like that, they're back there too. Uh, here is a... And uh, here's a, a clinic and a dental office. And here is a store that's coming, uh, Patronville Sporting Goods. It's, uh, uh, obviously it's not quite finished. There's no inventory in here yet. But I think I saw the sign that said uh, uh, Mason was building this. And he's the owner of the the Patronville Rough Diamond hockey team. There's the Lava Lounge. We'll poke our head into this little establishment. It looks like they have a stage for live entertainment. Here's a bookstore, uh, Matt's Novels. Uh, I don't see Matt. Uh, I guess they're closed. And there's the Labs store. If you want to buy specialized iron golems, this is the place to go. There's Outback, Saddle, and Tack. Anything you need for uh, horses, uh, the equestrian hobby, uh, riding gear and whatnot, that's where you go. There's a record store, Vinnie's Records. That's 
good place to get your music. Uh, Flowers by Jazz. Uh, jazz owns the bank and the baseball team here. Here's my store, uh, Ye Old Armor Shop. And there's my employee, uh, Dan the Man. I've got some rules on the walls to remind him uh, no refunds and and rule number two is to sell, sell, sell. Yeah, here's my little getaway here at the at the village, the underground village. And my friends and I can watch the the ponies run their races here. Close the door. Employees only. Now, I mentioned the Patronville Rough Diamond hockey team. Uh, so, this is their facility over here. You buy the tickets right here. You see the diamonds all over the walls. Here's the information kiosk. And let's see what that says. Welcome to the Patronville Diamond Mine. The Diamond Mine includes the Patronville Hockey Arena uh, website, uh, Uh, there's a VIP lounge for season ticket holders, includes bar, buffet, uh, the Diamond Mine, includes the Patronville Mining Museum, uh, oh yeah, it used to be a cave, pretty cool. Thank you for coming to the Diamond Mine, and we hope you find the entertainment for you and your family the best place to come. CEO Masani. In honor of Henry McDougal Handel. The diamond mind is the entrance is uh, where yeah this way. You're in the rough diamond mind now. Welcome to the diamond mind. Let's go rough diamonds. Wow, look at that. Got the big TV and the hanging hanging down from the middle of the ceiling. This is a world class hockey arena. It's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive indeed. I might use this as a thumbnail for the video.
Yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. It's pretty strange being in here uh, by yourself, too. I imagine it's normally filled with thousands of screaming Rough Diamond fans. Yeah, guess we'll take the subway. Uh, we need a pressure plate. I hate these buttons on the walls. I guess because I push them and the, the door slams shut before I can even get through it. I don't think uh, Mason will mind if I put a pressure plate there. Uh, much, much better. Okay, so we got to get a cart and put it on the subway track. And we push the button. Whoops. Too slow and I'll go. There we go. And we're headed back toward the main subway station, which is at City City Hall. I'm not sure how far the ride is. It's not not too bad. So someone asked me if I was doing anything special for my 100th video on this channel, and no, not really. I mean, yeah, 100 videos is a milestone, uh, but I don't really, I guess I just don't get into doing the special things for milestones. I mean, at the time of this recording, uh, it's my birthday today, and I'm not even doing anything special for it. I'm just kind of, yeah, just kind of ignoring it, I guess. Uh, just another day. It's not necessarily right. It's not necessarily wrong. It's just. It's just me. I don't make a big deal over my birthday. I do other people's birthdays, but not mine. Not sure why I threw my sword down. Yep, we just came from the hockey arena. And there's uh, to the elevators. And this is a a place where you can kill monsters and collect XP. I've never actually uh, utilized this. Uh, open the trap doors to battle monsters inside and collect XP. Battle stations upstairs. I guess you stand here and, and uh, kill monsters, and they drop their drops, their XP and whatnot, and then you can go back downstairs and collect it. There's a wither skeleton. Pillager. 
So they have different kinds of uh, monsters. Vindicator. Wow. Boy, it's kill with caution. It's uh, it's eerie up here. It is very, very eerie. There's a spotter down there. Open the trap doors. What is down here? Oh God, I guess I'm on my belly. I'm gonna crawl in here. So there's a spotter. Uh, how do we get out? Uh, I don't know how to get out. Uh, somehow I was able to crawl in. But I can't seem to get down low enough to get out. It's a good thing the mode is set for peaceful right now or I would be toast. Yeah, I can't, I can't get out. I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Help, help, help. Uh, there's no one to help me. Break the glass in case of emergency. There we go. Whew. Finally got out. Let's replace the glass. I need some yellow glass. There we go. Let's run down to the other end. steps down. I'm not going to crawl through there again. Nope. No, sir. And there's a cave system out there. Now, not all of these killing stations have uh, are set up for any particular monster. Like a lot of things in Patronville, uh, they're constructed so that they can be expanded later on. So in case uh, Mojang comes out with a new type of monster, it can be Easily added. Well, let's take an elevator. And there's a city hall directory telling you what's on the different floors. Diamond Club Casino. The subway will take you right to the casino. The subway will take you to a lot of the different places.
there's a subway, first level. Here's a zombie farm in another portal. So the the zombie farm is that was one of our first uh, places where we could battle monsters that we that we built. There's a light switch. The lights are currently on. If I flip that switch, the lights over the spawner. Uh, well, let me stand here and I'll show you. Because you want to be able to turn the lights off so that the zombies will spawn. Can I set my mode to survival? How do I do that? Yeah, I know it's a crying shame that I that I don't know the different commands. I guess I'm more into just running around this place and being amazed at everything everyone else builds. I do my own builds, but but I just like looking at everything else that uh you know all the other citizens do. So yes, yeah, sometimes we set the mode to survival so that the monsters come out. But Izzy the Tiger now has a realm and if you are a citizen of Patronville you have access to the survival realm which is operated by Izzy. But you have to be a citizen of Patronville before you can access his survival realm. Okay, so we went through the Patronville uh, nether portal. Boy, it's a lot bigger on this side. And we're in the nether, and there's a lot of different places we can go here. Uh, in a recent video, I was going up this ladder uh, to check out what was up here. And, uh, you know, there's some really strange stuff up here. I don't think I got to see it all. Yeah. Yeah, this is all strange. Uh, that blue building, I don't remember that. You can still build this high. Yeah, this is a a very strange place. I don't know what this building is. Or that one. What's this? 
Is that an is that an entrance? Uh, no, I think this is just a maintenance. Uh, yeah, there's some redstone wizard wizardry going on down here. What in the world? I, uh, I'm just um, speechless. I, I don't. I don't know what I'm looking at. Yeah, this is, this is all very unusual, very odd. There's trees and grass. There's a sign. Spawn. There's a chest. Your objective is simple. Replace the artifact with three stacks of sand. Wow. Can't seem to go any further. Well, can I get back? Yeah, I can go back. Oh no, look out behind you, a giant. Uh, boulder. I, I don't know if this is still under construction or, or what, the, what the deal is. But there's skulls on the ground, and that's kind of spooky. And this whole place is kind of spooky. There's invisible walls. They only let me go so far.
Yeah, there's there's more to this place than what meets the eye. And like I mentioned, uh, this may still be a work in progress. Isn't this place so strange? Let's go through this portal. Well, we are underwater. I think I've think I've been here before. I think this is one of Trevor's builds. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, these the tunnels that he builds underwater go. A long, long way. So I came back here. And there's a, a, a train track. Yeah, this, this whole thing up here, or down here, or where, wherever we are, is just so surreal. I don't know one thing, it's it's awfully hot in here. All of the lava, all of the fire. Let's just jump in the cart and ride.
So, what is this? Let's go through this. I guess this is a, a nether fort. go from the scalding temperature of the nether to this icy this icy place that we are now and you can just feel the the chilling coldness of the environment There's man-made structure. It's dark down here. just thankful that we're in creative mode. I, I would get slaughtered down here if there were monsters out. Well, I don't know what this is all about, but uh, let's get back above the water. So strange. got a feeling there's more to where we where we just where we just came from uh, that there's probably an, an ice palace or something there It would be so, so easy to get lost. I got a feeling I could just go forever in this direction. I know there's st structures and stuff that the players have built out here. There's, you, you just know there are. And I'll probably never see them. 
because there's so much more to this realm than, yeah, than I'll ever see, even though it's mine. <laughs> and if you're wondering about this realm, I have no plans to get rid of it. I'll keep it going year after year after year. I really want to see what it can what it can grow into. Maybe all the empty lots in Patronville will eventually have buildings on them. Maybe the city will have to expand further out into the county. Yeah, why do I have this? I thought I left. This is the guest book from uh, Nacho's uh, house. You know, the, the house that had the the guy caged up in the upper floor. I thought I left that. Why do I have it still? So I'm going to have to go back. I'm going to have to go back there. And put this book in place. But at this rate, I don't think I can find my way back. So in that case, I have a special book. It's something, uh, something Izzy made for me. It's a teleport book. And we're going to land first. Anyway, I can uh, take this book and I can open it and click this and voila I'm back in Patronville at City Hall so we need to go back over to Nacho's house and put his guest book back even though I don't understand why I have it because I thought I did put it back. Yeah, well there it is. Yeah, and there's my my entry, my my comment. Uh, somehow it copied. That's strange. I think I'm going to get back over to my to my house. Yeah, we've been going on for one and three quarter hours now. So, if you like these kind of videos, uh, tell me in the comments, give me a thumbs up, and uh, uh, if, you, if you're interested in uh, playing, becoming a citizen, uh, go to my Patreon page and uh, read about what it takes. Until then, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>